Hello everyone. In today uh, video, I'm going to show you how to design a composite beam in Robot Structure Analysis. Okay, so I have a structure uh, one floor. I'm going to uh, draw the slab. So first, I'm going to create uh, thickness of the slab, uh, slab or the the type of slab. So you need to uh, use this type of uh, slab. It's um, a concrete slab on the steel deck. Uh, on the structure so you need to define these parameters so H is the thickness of the top concrete and we use this number and we keep it like this and I choose this type of concrete so I click add now we draw the slab. We use the uh, uh, thickness that I created, and I use a deck slab one way and rectangular type of drawing. So now I got the slab. I need to add the load. So I have three load case. First one is cervix, second one is uh, the dead load, and the last one is light load. So I'm going to uh, put the light load, let's say this is 2.5, and dead load, let's say minus 3. Now I can run the analysis. So after uh, run the analysis, you need to select the uh, beam that you want to design as composite beam and also the slab. Next you go to adding and composite design. So in order to uh, have this menu composite design here, you need to go to Autodesk App Store and install the composite design. So now I click on this. Keep in mind that uh, this plugin only support the building uh, database of the AISC uh, standard. So we cannot use a uh, custom section. You can only use the, uh, the, the AISC uh, database section. So as you can see, this uh, parameter is imported from the thickness that we created, and you can use the per sorry perpendicular or parallel. In this case, it is a uh, perpendicular, and the thickness of the deck. I'm going to uh, put one here, and next you can. Uh, check the load case and load combination so we have the construction dead load construction light load and dead load light load and also the material and for the case number six and seven in this case we don't have this load so I'm I'm going to ignore this next is the combination you can check this now you can modify it as well so I want to talk about the construction dead load and light load. You can choose the load case that you created like this. You can select it and OK. Or you can go to edit and composite setting and type the number of the construction dead load and construction light load here. 
it depends on you next is the load so this is the load that uh, uh, generated from this structure so we have the line load on the beam this is material that load line load material is the surface so this is the value of the line load we don't have the point load here you can check the beam so this is the uh, internal force so now I will uh, zoom that the construction line equal to the line load here and for the construction that is the survey so next you can uh, go to the result so this is the uh, result that the so this plugging calculated you can check one by one this beam uh, displacement moment shear this is for the unfactor load you can uh, choose the uh, the load case here or you can go to custom so now we will use the uh, this load combination so this is the maximum mo uh, moment and this is the shear next is the, the extreme result so it's uh, uh, imported from the static calculation you can compare it with this result so now we go to design so this is the section that we uh, use in the robot structure analysis so now you can change also to another section because the, this is not economic you can check the uh, ratio here so one more thing is you can let the program design it you can uh, click on design all beams so this is the section that the program uh, recommended next you can also check the composite setting again I want to uh, show you the uh, the setting that we can uh, change for something like beam slab material stuck and also the deflection that uh, you want to uh, limit so now we change the start here Let's say this one to uh, 20 millimeter this one to 20 you can also change the material and now okay I will run the design again so this is uh, the final uh, result next you can uh, check the report so this is the result, uh, report of the result that the program design. You can check the load case here. We have the construction line. This is the uh, value. This is the reaction force. You can also check the displacement uh, in the beam. So this is how you design the composite beam and once you click uh, click OK the program will run uh, will ask you to change the uh, element so the element now change all you need to do is run the analysis again and you can go to the plugging of the composite design to uh, verify it again so this is it for this video I hope you uh, enjoy this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.